Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. It's December, last month of the year. Christmas is coming. What I'm going to be doing this month is theming my pens, not around the actual pen itself, but around the ink that's in it. What I've thought, well, it's the month of Christmas, so all my inks, they're either named after Christmas or something associated with Christmas because, you know, at the end of the day, let's celebrate a little bit. So join me down on the mat and let's take a look at the pens I'm going to use and more importantly, the inks I'm going to be putting in them. So here we go, taking a look at the pens I'm going to be using during December of 2021. Our first pen is this. This is a Jin Hao 159. This is in the silver color. It's a cheap pen. It was like seven Australian dollars. It's got number six nib and it's a cartridge converter. Just take it, as you can tell. Sorry about that. Siri wanted to talk to me. Let's pop the cap back on. I say it's a cheap pen. The ink I've got in here, I've only got a sample of this. I think it's one I may need to get myself a bottle, mainly because I love the name. It's Robert Oster, Santa's Hangover. What a brilliant name, isn't it? You know, imagine poor old Santa going around the world on Christmas Eve, having a glass of sherry or a glass of port or whatever's left out for him at each house. I bet on Boxing Day, he's got one heck of a hangover. That's really why I love this. It just fetches out and I do find it really witty. It makes me chuckle every time I look at the name. It's a nice red ink though. Now it doesn't really come over on here, but when I write with it, I do notice a lot of orange sheen coming through. So it's quite an interesting ink as well. Let's pop that to one side and do some writing. So the pen is a Jin Hao. Now that's one of the issues I've got with this pen. You see how it wouldn't start writing. A Jin Hao 159. This is actually a medium nib. Now due to that issue with writing, one of the things I may try with this is I've got a pen chalet medium nib, which I may put in here instead, but I'm not certain. I mean, the pen itself cost me seven Australian dollars. If I put in the nib that I bought, the nib was $15. So it's going to be like double the price just for the nib, but it doesn't really matter. The ink, Robert Oster. So can again, we can see it stopped writing it. Now, what I've found, oh, here we go. We've started up again. Robert Oster, Santa's Hangover. Now, I don't know if this is an issue with the pen or with the ink. As I say, it's a sheen in ink, so it could be that the ink's just not right for this pen. So I need to have a think about that. Drying times though, immediate. 10 seconds. Thirty seconds. Finally, one minute. After a minute, well, that's still slightly wet, isn't it? And this is why I think the issue may actually be with the pen and not the ink. But what I'm going to do is once this converter's run out, I will fill it with another Christmas ink. And to be honest, what I must really do is it'll be part way into December when I do that. So I'll must really fill it with one of the new ink event inks just to see how that goes. Can you see in this writing, but this is where I was saying about the sheening. So we've got this gorgeous gold sheening coming through underneath that red. Really nice, and I hope I can get this pen to write more consistently. Anyway, this is the Jin Hao 159, and I've told you a load of rubbish. The ink is not what I've said it is. I've just looked at my notes and realized I've given you the wrong details. The ink in here is actually Pen BBS Christmas Red. So let me pop this down on here, Pen BBS Christmas Red. I must have been at that holiday spirits already. This is number 370. Right. So as, as you can see, you know, it's that orangey red. And there we've got the nice sheen. So pen number two. Now, definitely the ink in pen number two is that Santa's hangover. 
Pen number two is this. This is a Fountain Pen Revolution Darjeeling. Really nice pen. It's an Indian pen. Take that off. There we can see it's got a gorgeous nib. I really like the look of that. It's another one where it's a cartridge converter. That's a bit tightly on there. Now, I could eyedropper this because there's no metal fittings. And the converter that came with it is one of these push me pull you ones. I don't like them, but I can understand why they're on there. Lots of threads on there if I do decide to ever eyedropper that. As we've seen, and I'll just fetch it in again very quickly, we've got Santa's hangover. Gary must have had a hangover to mess up like that. So this pen, it's a fountain pen revolution. I'm just going to put FPR. Darjeeling. It's a medium nib, although to me, that does seem quite fine for a medium. This cost me 30 Australian dollars. The ink, let's get it right, it's Robert Oster. Santa's Hangover. Drying times, immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, well, tiny smudge, but that's nice and dry. So I'm not even going to bother doing it for one minute. This is the Fountain Pen Revolution Darjeeling with Robert Oster Santa's Hangover. Before I fetch in the next pen, I'm just going to reposition the paper. So we've got the next two grids there. So pen number three by Moon Man. It's the Moon Man M800. This is the green version. I thought, well, it's Christmassy. Green would be nice. I'm just going to show you around this. I think this is a beautiful material. I love the colours, you know, the way it catches the light. And then we've also got that little bit of transparency. Another one with a nice nib there. There it is. It's got gold coloured nib. This is a Moon Man nib. You can get this pen with a Bach nib as well. Another one, cartridge converter. The Moon Man M800, I've got to be honest, it's one of my favourite pens. And it's the one that led me into buying a number of Leonardo pens because I just love the shape of this. I think it's so nice, so comfy in the hand. And my Leonardo Memento Zero Grande, wow, my favourite pen, I've got to be honest at the moment. Let's take a look at the ink. So what have we got? Well, we've got Robert Oster Elf's Cap. Another one with a really nice Christmassy name, isn't it? This is a green colour. I don't see any sheen coming through, so it's a fairly flat colour. I haven't had this in a pen before, so I'm not sure how well it does with things like shading. That's something we're going to find out. But yeah, nice green ink there. Reminds me a little bit of Christmas trees. So that's why I thought Elf's Cap anyway is a Christmassy type name. And the colour, really nice Christmas colour. So let's do our writing. So we've got a Moon Man. So again, this is another issue. As you can see, the pen does not want to start writing. One second. Okay, I've got it writing again. So we've got a Moon Man, M800. This has got a fine nib. And this cost me 66 Australian dollars. Now, before I write the name of the ink, I'm a little bit annoyed, especially with this pen not writing. Before I start recording the video, I do sit and I write a couple of sentences with each of the pens. So I know that they're right before I start recording. And then this happens to me. I'm really not happy with this pen. But saying that, it's the Moon Man nib. So this is another nib where I may look at swapping it. I do have a number of other nibs that I may try on here. I've actually got a Kai Galoo long knife, which I think might actually go really well on this. But I need to think about that and see how it goes during the month. But the ink, as we said, is Robert Oster. Elf's cap. It's a nice green ink. I'd have liked it to have been a little darker when I'm writing. But saying that, it does remind me of the green coloured felt, which is, I don't know why, but in my mind's eye, that's what I think the elf's clothes are made out of. Drying times. Media, fairly dry compared to the others. 10 seconds. 
Well, 10 seconds, look at that, it's already dry. So there's no point in me doing any further. So this is the Moon Man M800 with Robert Oster Elf's cap. So hopefully this next pen behaves better. The next pen is by Opus 88 and it's an Opus 88 Chloro. Now, yes, I've already opened the top here. This is an eyedropper filled pen and it has a shut off valve, which is worked using this cap. And what that does is if you screw it down, it shuts off the section from the body so that you don't lose all the ink in the event of an issue. But to write with it, you need to open that shut off valve. Otherwise, yes, you'll write through what's in the section, but then you run out of ink and it will stop writing. The ink I've got in here, this is a diamine ink and it's from the blue ink vent. So from two years ago, it's Jack Frost. It's a gorgeous blue color with a lovely, I'm gonna say red, could be like a pinkish purple, but it's got that lovely sheen to it. I really like the look of this ink. It's the first time I've had it in a pen, but I've seen quite a few videos where they're using this ink, and every time I see it, I think, what a brilliant looking color. And I love the name, Jack Frost. That's so evocative of Christmas, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. You know, down here in Australia, where it's slightly warm at Christmas, frost is the last thing on your mind, but I do like the name of it. Let's get that out of the way. So we've got here an Opus 88 Coloro with a broad nib. And this cost me 120 Australian dollars. The ink, Diamine, Jack Frost. I love the blue. Hopefully when it's dried a little bit, we'll be able to take a look at the sheen. Our drying times. So we go immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Almost dry at 30 seconds, one minute. After a minute, yeah, nice and dry. Slight little tiny smudge coming off there. So take a look at this writing. I can see a little bit coming through, certainly in that top line of that sheen. Whereas the bottom line, you know, there's more of the blue in there with little tiny bits of sheen. I'm going to be interested to see how this goes during the month with the various papers that I'll be writing on. I have the Tomai River paper. I've got some more of this paper. I've got cheap paper. I've got printer paper. I use lots of different papers to really explore what happens. And certainly with this sheen and ink, I'll be interested to see what goes on. So this is the Opus 88 Coloro with Diamine Jack Frost ink. Two more pens to go. Let me just reposition the paper so we can get the last two on there. So this next pen, well, to me, the pen should be called a Christmas pen as well. Unfortunately, it's not. It's by Bennu. This is the Bennu Talisman and the pattern is Dragon's Blood. Just gonna spin this round here. Look at the green and the red sparkles. To me, this should be called Christmas. I mean, it's just so evocative of Christmas looking at that the way it sparkles. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, really is nice. It's a fairly new pen to me, so I haven't really used it that much. It's another one, broad nib. And this is a cartridge converter as well. Just pop it all back together. I mean, the colors of this, this really do attract the eye, don't they? It looks so different. And I know I keep fetching this back in, I love the way you've got the facets because the facet doesn't go all the way down. This facet goes about halfway. Turn it slightly, we've got the next one. Turn it slightly, then we're back. It all adds to really attracting the eye to the pen. I think it's so gorgeous. The ink in here, well, it's another one from the Diamine Blue Ink Vent. And it's called elf really nice dark green color in one respect it's almost a forest green to me i mean when i think about the pine needles on your christmas trees this to be honest it's the green that i think of so i think this is going to be really nice again no sheen or anything like that just a nice attractive looking ink so let's write so we have here a benny 
Talisman. This pen is a broad and it cost me 167 Australian dollars. Now already here I can see some shading coming through. It also looks like it's feathering slightly on this paper. So that's something I need to look at when I'm doing my further testing. The ink, diamine, elf. Again, we're still seeing that shading coming through. I think this is going to be a nice character filled ink. Drying times, so immediate. Looks quite wet, doesn't it? 10 seconds. <laughs> Look at that. It looks really wet immediate, but after 10 seconds, it looks quite dry. 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yeah, and that is dry. So a nice fast drying ink in this pen. So this is the Bennu Talisman in Dragon's Blood with Diamine Elf. So our final pen for December. This is one you've seen in quite a few of my pens and use videos. It's by Twisby. And it's the Twisby Draco. This is a piston filling pen and I love the colouring in it. Let me just turn that around there for you. Look, we've got black, but then we've got all these different shades of, I'm going to say crimson, a bit like blood red colour, some of them. Some of them even remind me of a nice red wine. Now, why I've chosen this pen, it's actually because of the ink. The ink that I've chosen to put in here it's by Diamine, it's another ink vent blue, and it's mulled wine. And just look at that match, which is really nice and close match. And when I saw this ink, you know, obviously I picked my inks first this month, I thought, what better pen than the Draco? And the fact that it ran out of ink last month means it was perfect for me to fill up. I was going to put it out of the way, but I'll just give you a quick look in the light, see how it plays with the light. I like this colour, it's nice and dark, and it's different. As I say, it's more of like, well, it, well I'm going to say wine coloured, because it's called mulled wine, that really gives you the hint, doesn't it? So let's do our writing. So we've got here a Twisby, Draco, again a broad nib. Are you seeing a pattern with the nib sizes I'm using? It's 215 Australian dollars. The ink, diamine, mulled wine. Now in my little bit of writing here, I am seeing some character coming out. So I am seeing little tiny bits of shading already coming out in that writing. I need to explore that, as I said, like the other ones on different papers. Drying times, 10 seconds. Immediate even, Gary's brain has gone to sleep again. Now 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Finally, one minute. After a minute, yeah, nice and dry there. So this is the Twisby Draco with Diamine Mold Wine. I'm now going to clear this off and then I'll fetch the pens back in for one final look. So here are the pens that I'm going to be using during December of 2021. A Jin Hao 159 with Pen BBS Christmas Red. A Fountain Pen Revolution Darjeeling with Robert Oster Santa's Hangover. A Moon Man M800 with Robert Oster Elf's Cap. An Opus 88 Coloro with Diamine Jack Frost. A Bennu Talisman in Dragon's Blood with Diamine Elf. And the Twisby Draco with Diamine Mulled Wine. I'm now going to go away, I'm going to have a cup of coffee and hopefully recover from all the mistakes I've made in recording this today. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. What are you going to be theming your pens and inks around for December? Are you going to use this idea of Christmas or are you going to use something else? I'd be really interested to find out because it helps really to generate ideas for myself as well. Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button 
every time someone likes or comments, well, it just helps to tune the YouTube algorithm so that other people can find my videos. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.